Okay, coolest project 2018. Um, the idea we do it to inspire you. Usually, um, Daria helps me with this, and she helped me this time as well. Um, these are the projects done by chapters, as you said, but also by Wikimedians and Wikipedians, not just the chapters. It's really important to know that, first of all, everybody can send in their projects. I published it on Facebook and uh, Wikim uh, Wikimedia L, and everybody could have submitted it. And the point is, these are projects that you can do in every country. Some of them, you, f you might see that it's a bit difficult to do in other countries, but I believe that the idea can be propagated and used again and again by other groups, so that's why we are here, to give you ideas. So, uh, disclaimer, not all projects, not all chapters, only the ones that were sent to me and that I think that are cool and low budget. Um, cool and low budget is the most important thing because if it's expensive, as you said, most chapters cannot do it or most groups cannot do it. So what makes a project cool? I always use this definition by Claudia. It needs to motivate volunteers, inspires newcomers and partners, and have added value for our projects. So that's the definition of cool that I use. What we're going to do today, I'm going to present the coolest project not from Africa, because we had those already. And then there are the finalists. Some of, half of these are from Africa. And uh, then we, you choose, so don't go um, until you choose. So what do we have? Coolest project of 2018. Anything that started or reached a conclusion after January 1st, 2017. Um, previous year I used different categories. Like these are the categories they used in previous year. This uh, Wikimania had a different uh, teams. So I tried to translate the categories into teams. Probably I did it wrong. But uh, this will help you compare years of this lecture. So first category was participation. As I mentioned, I always do this with Daria, and she's not here, that's lack of participation. There she is last year. No, this is, not, this is a scenario. Yes, last year. Um, she's sitting next to me. So, participation, why is Daria not here? That's the first question you may ask. And that's, that's because she has her own coolest project, which I will present. Um, this is Jan Bart. He was the uh, chairperson of the board of Wikimedia board. He came to Israel because the local community was very upset with Israeli pictures being deleted from the commons. The whole community met and shouted at him. That's the whole community. Oh, well, you see Daria, she's in red. Very easy to see. She's always in red. Uh, the room is not filled. This is the offices of Wikimedia Israel. But as more people came, the room got filled. And still, she's the most noticeable person. She's the only one in red. And that guy noticed her, and they both went on a, a wiki photo hunt. This is in the Golan Heights. Actually, we went to take pictures of the Golan Heights and the Syrian civil war. You can actually see it from there. And it's a nice setting. Uh, I forgot the name of the tree. Cherry blossoms? Yeah, cherry blossom. They fell in love. Um, this is an article from Hebrew Wikipedia. It's wedding proposal. See this picture here? That's from a Hebrew uh, community wiki meetup. He gave a lecture. He asked to be the last one on the day. And in the middle of the lecture, he proposed to her by reading a love song. And we are talking about Wikipedia. So they married in Wiki Wikimania in Mexico. Jan Bart was the married them. Their wedding vows were on wiki to be edited by, by the community, <laughs> were edited. Jimmy Wells was the, on the job of the father of the bride, giving her away. Michal, our ED, was the best man. And there, there is me, I was the flower girl. <laughs> they forgot to tell me that in advance, so I didn't have any flowers. And her coolest project, that's why she's not here, is Yair. He is now three months old. And, yeah. We have the GLAM conference in Tel Aviv in November, I think November 5th. Um, he's volunteering. He's going to do the help desk. You will come and you will see him there. I'm not sure how much help he's going to give, but he will be there. Yeah. So this is one coolest project. That's why Daria is not here. It is not uh, eligible for the finals because it's very difficult to um, 
do again uh, in other countries. Well, look at him. Yeah. So our next project is from Germany. It's it's not in the finals because it doesn't fit, fit the teams, but I think it's cool. Um, it's a project done regarding the Wikimedia conference. You may have seen some of the pictures outside. Uh, the idea is that before the conference, uh, people will send their pictures and a quote. And this way, people attending the conference can see the faces of the other people attending and meet them uh, online and know them better. So when they actually meet in person, they already have some common thing to talk about. Their quotes, they know them. Um, I'll show you some examples uh, in a minute, but the tip that uh, Wikimedia Donaldson gave is make sure you get the pictures well in advance. So if you have to ask for another picture, you can do that. Have the quote well in advance and make sure it's CC by SA, that you can reuse it, and that the people agree to having the picture reused. Here are some examples. This is Catherine and her quote. Um, Elena from Spain. Susanna from Armenia. This is Michal from Israel. Remember, the best man. Uh, Asaf from the foundation. And Ivan from Mexico. Okay, so this can be used not only on the Wikimedia conference, but in any local conference. My next project is from England. I think it is from England. It's a bit difficult to tell. Um, this is an Italian astronaut, Paolo Nespoli. And uh, what makes this project interesting is that Wikipedia is no longer earthbound. Actually, Wikimedia is no longer earthbound. This is the International Space Station. Um, first ever content made in space. Um, there is a project in English Wikipedia called Voice Intro Project. When you have an article about a person, that person updates the article and then read it in his own voice. And that voice is uploaded to Commons. I think it's cool that present, that's not the cool project here, but that you can hear the actually person reading his own uh, article. And he read this article from the space station, uploaded it to Commons from the space station, and that's the project. Um, it didn't cost any money, first of all, because they just approached the European uh, Space Agency, and they were enthusiastic about it, and so was he, and they made it happen. So, um, okay. The next project is from Belgium. Um, okay. Um, this is similar to a project done in Israel previous year, but they made it differently. And I always like to show, that was the theme of last year, uh, coolest project uh, talk, how projects move from one country to another and become cooler. Um, I call it um, cool begets coolness or propagation of coolness. And I think this is what should be doing. Um, this project is called, Ludovic help me, Iderin Brument. I hope I'm saying this right. It means every, every, everybody famous. There is a television, pro this is the name of a television program in Belgium. And they did a weekly program on writing articles in Wikipedia. The presenters um, did the research, wrote the article, added pictures, and it was an episode, each week a different chapter, uh, with research and everything. These are, this is the list of the subject they wrote. I know it's too small to read, but you can go to the, to the project and see. And I think you can guess the main drawback of this project. When you have a million people watching this episode, how quickly do you think the article will, will be vandalized? So the articles had to be uh, uh, updated by registered user only because million people watching and wanting to edit it means a lot of uh, vandalizing of the articles. Next project is from Israel. We, al we always show the pictures from the back because it's, these are little kids and you can't st show them from the front without parents' uh, approval. Um, this is, it's called Student Writing Wiktionary. So, first question is, what's cool about that? This is done all over the world. Um, it is cool because it's unique. It has a unique problem faced. And it's not unique to Israel. It's a problem that you have all over the world. 
schools, especially religious schools, usually do not send their students to Wikipedia. The pictures there are too not suitable. Um, I'm not talking about English Wikipedia. We, I, Hebrew Wikipedia is much more strict, but even David by Michelangelo is too much for religious school. Um, so the answer to this, how do you cause students in religious schools to participate in Wikipedia is writing articles in Wiktionary. It's always, it's like a safe environment. The teacher agree to it, the school managers agree to it, and it's a way for them to participate, and maybe later you can get them on Wikipedia. Um, it's also good because it's really easy. You get satisfaction for the students. The article is very quickly online, and it's not a big article. They just need to do a few sentences. Um, this is an example of an article in Hebrew. Um, it's a quote from the Bible. I translated it above. Just the first bit of the quote. Many, many waters cannot quench love. This is the sentence. We give, uh, dictionary have quotes, and uh, it links to wiki commons and other quotes. So that's the, an example of this, uh, the result. Um, okay, I'm trying to hurry up a bit because time is short. <laughs> Next project is from Sweden. Wiki, wiki gap. Um, I'll show you some pictures and then I will explain. This is a collaboration between uh, Wikimedia Sweden and the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs in uh, Sweden. Um, the idea is to minimize the wiki gap, uh, more articles about women, by women, throughout the world. So Swedish embassies did events all over the world. This is a picture of one of these events which took place in Israel. Um, this is all the places it took place. Everything took place on the same day, 8th of March, International Women's Day. And you had 19 countries, 630 editors. Amazing. Uh, 30 million articles viewed, 1.14 million words added. Um, 5,000 articles uh, edited and almost 800 articles created on the same day on women. Um, so this is quite an impact. Um, this can be done again in every country, collaboration with the ministry, and it helps many countries. We're talking about how uh, stuff can be done in Africa, location, venues. You could have contacted the Swedish embassy in all African countries and done that. Um, they gave us some tips how to do it. Uh, start a discussion early. Wikimedia Swedia started the discussion with the uh, embassy very early to get them convinced. Do some pilot events first to see how it works. Um, create materials that can be distribu distributed and uh, if it's around the world, you need to have the local communities tweak it, change it that it fits them as well. So you need to allow time for that and do this. Um, Next team, Access and Accessibility. This is a project from India. Um, it's called Video Wiki. Um, the idea is we live in a post-text world. Most of 70% of what people see on the internet is videos, and Wikipedia is text. So people are used, wouldn't bother reading a long article, they would want a video. The project, you choose an article, and then it, you turn it into a video file. It's, it's the, not a one-time version. It always takes the updated version of the article and turn it into a voice file. This is what it looks like. It takes some time to do the conversion, and then I never figured out how to put the pictures there. So maybe you need to do the help file better. But then you have a video with somebody reading the current article and pictures. Um, I always like to finish this lecture with a quote. We are changing the world and trying to do it in a cool way, but that's helped changing. So it's a quote by a woman who did change the world, Eleanor Roosevelt. Nothing has ever been achieved by a person who says this cannot be done. Everything can be done. So just go and do it. Okay, now we have short time to choose the coolest project. I need a jury up here. Jury? Yeah, all three of you. And remember, you are voting. Uh, you're voting by clapping your hands. We have runners up. We have six runners up. Again, giving emphasis, wait, giving emphasis 
on uh, Africa. Do not vote yet. I'm going to show you all six and then go back and you can vote. So you can decide. So the runners up are uh, Fan Club Nigeria, Africa uh, Wikimedia Developers Project, uh, Wiki Masak, MOOC Algeria. Um, first, I didn't choose this. This guy chose the coolest of the coolest from Africa. Then we have the space, content from space, uh, Wikigap from Sweden, and the project from Belgium. Now we'll go back and then we, we vote. So start clapping when we go one project at a time. First one, who thinks this is the coolest? Okay. Who thinks this is the coolest? Okay. Wiki Mask. You shouldn't have done it, you should be impartial. As we see, we have a very impartial jury. <laughs> Space. Wiki Gap Sweden. And the last one, Belgium. Yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah. We have a unanimous agreement. This is the coolest project okay. of the year. Anybody here from Wikigap in the room? Come up here. Come up. Yeah, come up. No, come up. Uh, you organize it from the chapter? Uh, yeah, from the Albanian thing. No, I'm not from Sweden. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so we have the winner. Of course, we need to thanks and credit for two licenses. And now we have time for questions. Questions for African project or from Albanians who did Wikigap. If anybody has a question, I cannot see anything from here. Any questions? We have three minutes for questions. Oh, question there? No? I do not see anything. No questions. Good. No okay. We have 30 seconds to go anyway. Thank you for being here.